Now, I might be a little premature in bringing this up, but it is related to menus, so I, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about it now. So let's go ahead and click these little white dots on our screen here, and we'll go ahead and empty out our two palette docking stations here. So I'm going to take the brush menu and just drag over that white dot, and then again, we'll go back to our tool menu and we'll drag this over here. We'll go ahead and because we need to see some submenus here, if you have the simple brush selected, you can, you'll can you see that the simple brush that you have is, if you hover over this, that is the current tool. And we're going to get deeper into this in just a minute. But if you click on that, you can choose any of these 3D meshes here. Let's go ahead and just grab any one of these primitives here. We'll go ahead and do Spiral 3D. And now you're going to see on both sides we have the brush main palette and then the sub palette or the main menu and the sub menus. Then over here you're going to have the tool and the sub menus here. If you go back up here to preferences and we go back to interface, you're going to see we have sub palette pop-ups here. Now again, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because it has to do with sub menus and we're talking about them. This is going to get a little bit weird, but if you're new to ZBrush, this might actually be something that's useful to you. It's I don't use it a whole lot because I'm used to having a ton of menus to go through. Uh, but if this is useful to you and you're just starting out, I just want to make sure you know this option is available. So preferences, interface, sub palette pop-up. If you click sub palette pop-up, you're going to see it's going to give you a bunch of little arrows here. And all of a sudden, there's going to be a lot less options over here under tool and brush. You're going to see all we have available to us is sub tool. What that essentially does, what that option does when you turn on uh, that option, which is we only have config stores. We can click up here in the config, and then we'll go back down here to interface, and now we have sub palette pop-up open. Uh, if we go over here to our tool menu, you're going to see all we have is a sub tool sub menu selected. If you click on that menu, it's going to give you all of the menus available. So it kind of stacked in that little white arrow all of the menus available to you in the tool menu. So under the tool menu, we have sub tool, contact, deformation, export, etc. Uh, if we go down here to geometry, you're going to see the geometry options for this primitive are available, or we can go down here to initialize, which we'll be doing later. Uh, here's the initialize options, but you're not having to scroll a whole bunch because you're only seeing one menu at a time. Under here, for example, underneath the brush menu, we got create. If you want to play around with the modifiers, we just click this top menu, go down here to modifiers, and here's all the modifiers options. So instead of opening a bunch of submenus up or collapsing them and having to do a lot of scrolling, you can use, again, preferences and interface, sub palette pop up, you can turn that on. That'll kind of clean up your interface just a little bit. There's also what I like to use is, for example, custom menus here. So I can go to, there's not going to be a whole lot of options available, but I can go to my custom menu here to have easy access to everything in the ZBrush interface. We'll get to that later. So that's another option to clean up your interface. But if you just want to look at one menu at a time and not do a lot of scrolling, feel free to use the sub palette pop-up. Now here's the caveat. If you're playing around with this and you're like, you know what, this is cool, but it's not for me just yet, or you want to follow along with me and I'm not going to have this option enabled, what you're going to need to do is before you disable sub palette pop-up, go from interface, hold down shift, and uh, open up config. Because what we can do is if, for example, under tool we have initialize, if you hold down shift, you can actually open up open up sub uh, two or three or however many menus you want to. So you can open up multiple sub menus here. So you can turn on sub display properties, and then hold down shift, and masking, hold down shift, and texture map. So you can have just those menus showing. So just like opening up multiple sub menus without subtool pop-up, you can open up multiple with subtool pop-up just by holding down shift. So again, under preferences here, we have sub palette pop-up and we have config st uh, stored here. So if you want to turn this off, make sure you open up the config menu, turn sub palette pop-up off, hit store config. So now it's saying whenever you start up ZBrush, sub palette pop-up will be off. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm not able to get those menus back to their normal functionality. I've turned sub palette pop-up off, but all of a sudden under brush, all I have is a modifier. There's like a hundred menus, well, there's a handful of menus underneath the brush menu, but I no longer have access to them. And it's gonna be a little bit weird, but what you're gonna have to do is close down ZBrush at the X in the upper right hand corner, relaunch ZBrush, and you're gonna see, again, we can hide the light box here. If we select the cylinder primitive, we have our menus back. We can hold down shift and open up multiple menus and get that functionality and we have subtool pop-up turned off. But I wanted to bring that up just so you know that option is available, but I won't be using it in the future courses.